Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Monday, 3rd of April 2023. These trades were shared by MG, who's trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFD using a Forex broker. As you see, the one hour macro is in uptrend and five minute structural chart is also in uptrend in the middle of channel. So he used one minute trading chart and entered here based on algo one to five and exit with exit strategy on the one with profit and you can see the profit for this trade and also there was another deep pullback and after retracement completed another pullback happened in the uptrend channel when the three charts are aligned based on algo one to five again he entered here in good area and exit with exit strategy number one with profit so thank you very much mg for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by Yan, or global instructor, who's trading Euro USD. As you see, his macro four hours chart is reaching important resistance area. So that one got rejected, and based on rejection that we can see in a smaller time frame, he identified a good area for setup B and entered here. And you can see the downtrend channel in one minute chart that entered and trailed that and close it when the momentum is lost based on momentum analysis with maximum profit. So thank you Yan for sharing your trade with us. The next few trades are those I have taken at the beginning of New York market session and the video with explanation was sent to students yesterday so I'm gonna replay the video here for you. Hello everyone I'd like to share with you my trades taken on Monday 3rd of the April 2023 these trades were taken on Nasdaq and Russell E-mini futures. As you see, the market last week was very bullish and eventually uh, on Nasdaq reached the level of 13,300. And during the global session today, created a point of control and some sort of support here around 13,220 and went as low as 200. And during the New York market session, the market went up and retested this level of 13,200 again. And the price got rejected and the buyers came back. You can see that by order flow also and price action. So it passed the point of control. So I waited for two minutes when this level was tested and buyers came back. I took long positions here. So these bullish five minute candles uh, on the macro was taken and also I waited for the news at 10 o'clock and ISM release. After that I took some long positions on Russell that you can see the entry and exits. The signal from each chart was copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts and the result for the day was profit factor was 6.1 and we had about 70% win rate, mostly from long sides. And the average win to loss ratio was 2.6. And the largest winning trade was $120. And the largest losing trade was $69. So hope these trades taken by the PAT system with order flow confirmation is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.